I thought it was a really exciting match. And, you know, when it was over, it was like, you know, you know, I mean, this is my thought. It's like, as soon as that thing ended, it's like, you know, I just saw Clash at the Castle. I mean, I literally just saw Clash at the Castle, which was also like a great main event and also had the same thing that happened, you know, pretty much. And it's like, you know, it's like a rerun. You know what I mean? It's like they talk about creative. Talk about Montreal. Like no, a Clash of the Castle, Drew McIntyre. Yeah. You that said you just so, saw it. Solo, that solo, was like September. Solo, solo Sokoa. Like, with, 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 with Sami Zayn, I knew Sami Zayn wasn't winning, and I kind of knew Drew wasn't winning, but I knew that, like, when I was, when, when, when the Clash of the Castle came, okay, the thing, and actually, the, you know, if you look good at it, the Montreal and Clash of the Castle did have similarities in the sense that you knew that if that title changed hands, it would be an incredible pop that you could very rarely duplicate. I mean, one with the UK crowd, and even bigger, I think, in some ways with Sammy, um, because people in Montreal, I think there's more emotional ties to um, Sammy in Montreal than with Drew. But still, with Drew, it was it would be huge. You know, I mean, I rem you know afterwards it was like, God, you know what? Like, you know, you really can't duplicate it. And then they lucked into Sammy, you know, getting so hot. And it's like, wow, you actually could do do it on this show. And they didn't do it there either. And, you know, then it's like, if they did it here, you know, it wouldn't have been as big, but it would have been big. And, um, I mean, it would have been real big, but they didn't. Um, I don't know where it goes. I mean, like with, with Drew, we pretty much knew that there was Dwayne and there was Cody waiting for it, right? With Sammy, we knew there was Cody waiting for it. Uh, with Cody, it's like, who's waiting for it? You know, I mean, who... who there, who is there? Who is there? Dwayne, who, you know, who, you know, maybe he'll do it in Philadelphia, you know, but you can't count on that for sure. If, I, if I'm the company, I'm not counting on Dwayne ever. You know, it's like, maybe he'll do it, you know, and, and, and it'll be gigantic. But you know what? If it was Dwayne next year, they got a year to, you know what I mean? They could put it on Cody, have him hold it for nine months. They really want to do that match. And when if Dwayne agrees to the match, then you know you got a year. You don't you don't have to have Roman go through another year as champion. And with Cody, I mean, it's like oh, there's all these different challenges. Now, granted, yeah, Solo and Roman can do business at some point, but it's too early for that. Jimmy and Jay, I mean, you could do it, um, but uh, I don't know. Um, I mean, you can go back to Sammy. Um, but I don't think they'll ever put the title on Sammy. You can go back to Sammy. Uh, Cody, to me, still has to win. And, I mean, one of the feelings I had kind of watching this, you know, when it was over was, okay, you know, you know, you know, it, it, Roman could win. And, and if Cody wins down the line, you do tell the story. You know what I mean? And he had to go oh, through this obstacle, blah, blah, blah. But, you know, you also have the Lex Luger. You miss your peak. And then it never happens. And I think Cody will, I mean, he should win the title, the way they've told that sto the story. But did they miss the peak? Knock, knock, who's there? Ric Flair. Ric Flair who? No, Ric Flair who? <laughs> I didn't get that one. <laughs> <laughs> knock, knock, who's there? <laughs> Bailey. Bailey who? We Bailey... Made it home in time to watch SmackDown. That's Live. not how not not jokes work. <laughs> we barely. What does that mean? She's small. It's <laughs> we barely made it home. Oh, we barely. <laughs> <laughs> wow, your Invisalign made you dumb. <laughs> Why did the referee referee's feet smell when he was working? Because he was a dude doodle. <laughs> what? <laughs> because he was a doodle. His feet smelled because he was a doodle. Yeah, I don't get it. <laughs> what? See, these, these, these are so dumb that they're funny. Am I high? I don't. I, I drove here. I think I was sober when I got here. If you enjoy these videos, for just seven dollars and ninety-nine cents per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of the Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm. The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.